Hey, beetles and butterflies. Yes, it's me, your girl, Sharon K. Griffin, a.k.a. Madam Butterfly. Yes, I hope that you are flapping your wings, baby. Yes, all around the world, right? So, I'm going to tell you this. This is a trigger warning right here, okay? Trigger warning, okay? So, if you want to proceed, then that's up to you, but trigger warning. So, um, some time ago... Someone made me really, 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 really upset, right? And literally, I was trying to figure out how I was going to pow pow this person without harming anyone else, right? And I had this whole plan made up in my mind, right? And I had to on the next day, contact my therapist because I was trying to figure out why I was so triggered by what the person did, okay? And my therapist took me back, time, back to a time when I was like six or seven when I was essayed um, by my uncle. And because I was essayed, I, um, me wanting to pow pow that person was a response to what my uncle did to me. Okay. And what my therapist had worked out with me was that in my youth, in my childhood, I said that no one was ever going to take advantage of me again. Um, I thank God, one, that my daughter was there. Um, I thank God, two, that I did not do what I was intending to do because I was livid. Like, if you believe in spirits, you probably would have said she has a demon inside of her. Um, and that's how I was feeling like every bit of everything had rose up in me. And again, it took me back to my childhood. So what I want to say to you, and this is after years of therapy, okay? Years of therapy. And I thought that that thing, right? That energy was gone right? But literally, it was dormant, okay? Um, so my position is this, and I know this isn't one of my like ah, moments, right? My position is this. Deal with the inner child. Deal with the trauma that has taken place in your life. And, and what I've learned also is that healing is continuous. And there's a scripture that I love and I just love this scripture. I'm not a religious person, but I do remember this scripture. And I think it was, I can't even tell you what it was, but it says at the appointed time that a bitter root expectation will spring forth and defile many, right? And literally that thing for me was, or my trauma was a bitter root expectation and I could have ruined another family's life. I could have ruined my life, my family's life, my legacy. So again, deal with the trauma that's in your life. Deal with the trauma, okay? Um, healing is continuous. And as you walk and as you grow, things might come up that you're like, oh shit, I thought that was gone because literally I thought that was gone because I hadn't acted like that in a very, very long time. Like a lot of times y'all be like, oh my gosh, she's so happy. She's so fun. Yes, I am. But back then I was someone different that you probably wouldn't want to know. Right. Um, it is what it is, and I have moved forward, but I thank God that I'm very conscious of who I am, how I feel, and dealing with 
self. I'm not looking at everybody else. I deal with self, right? Because when you deal with self, right, that means that the more love you have for you, yourself, the more love you have for humankind, for mankind, for people around you, right? So just a FYI, I just wanted to come on here and share that with you because we don't know how someone is going to react to life circumstances. We see a lot of things going on right now, but you don't understand or know the trauma that they have dealt with, even though they're wrong in their response to the trauma. You don't know what a person has dealt with. So we have to be careful how we even react or respond or treat people because people aren't taking things like they used to. I'm very conscious of self and I was able to identify that something was going on within me where I knew to call my therapist and be like, I need to talk and I need to know why I responded and why I felt the way I did. So I hope that I um, am helping someone with this, um, not to do something that you'll regret a little later. I love you. And Yesterday, I was at the hospital. Like, live now, y'all, because at the drop of a dime, anything could happen. But thank God I'm okay. Um, it was nothing. I'll, I'll get to that maybe my next post. But love you. Flat, flat. First date live is coming soon, okay, y'all?